Now from your weather authority, here is Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner. Well, let's have a look at KLST Live Radar. We're always hoping for some rain, but we don't have any here in the immediate area. It's all out in southwest Texas. Alpine, they've picked up almost an inch of rain this afternoon, and it's 71 degrees right there. So there's your cool weather, and there's your wet weather. But north of Abilene, we've got some thunderstorms maintaining, but they're weakening some, producing some lightning. Uh, one of these did produce 60-mile-per-hour winds when it came through the Guthrie area earlier. Those should continue to weaken over time, not make it into our area weather headlines elevated fire weather conditions from day to day no big change to the hot pattern anytime soon i think this time next week we're still kind of stuck in the hot temperatures maybe toward next weekend we'll see a little bit of relief but we have an increased risk for heat related illnesses we have the heat advisory in effect it's been extended again until nine o'clock friday night does not include the concho valley does include abilene to dallas and down into the houston area we look at heat safety this time of year the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke, uh, heat exhaustion, faint or dizzy, throbbing headache if a uh, heat stroke is uh, coming your way, hopefully not, excessive sweating, heat exhaustion, no sweating for a heat stroke, cool, pale, clammy skin, heat exhaustion, but red, hot, and dry skin, heat stroke, some of the symptoms we're talking about here, nausea, vomiting, rapid, weak pulse for heat exhaustion, but rapid, strong pulse, heat stroke, you may lose consciousness if you're in a heat stroke situation, muscle cramps with heat exhaustion, so bottom line, uh, get to a cool air conditioning in place and drink water uh, take a cool shower use cold compress heat exhaustion and if you have suffered a heat stroke uh, hopefully someone can get some 911 service to you and the reason we put that information out there is because by the time we get to this weekend early next week the temperatures while they're hot right now are going to be even hotter which you'll see in the seven day forecast these numbers pretty well the same as they were this time yesterday upper 90s in our southeastern counties eastern counties but just about everywhere else 100 to 105 with robert lee being the hot spot and uh, san angelo to wichita falls or this corridor right in here seems to be among the hottest uh, but fort stockton and el paso also increasing some today up to 103. it is thursday the drought monitor came out today the news not good because an expansion of abnormal and moderate drought over now the northern counties and a big chunk of our western counties still doing okay here in our southeastern counties although the grass could use a drink of water out in the atlantic ocean we have hurricane ernesto with winds now of 85 miles per hour category one storm there you can see the eye starting to form should be a cat two by later tonight tomorrow morning and just make its way toward bermuda bermuda right there on your screen should be arriving during the day on saturday look ahead future cast not looking for any rain here in our area this low pressure trough is still off to the west again tomorrow and it may flare up a few showers but um, a few clouds pass through and that is about it here as far as we are concerned going through our day on Saturday so the forecast low for tonight 78 degrees mostly clear warm and calm and tomorrow we will again aim at 103 degrees mostly sunny the heat will continue and the seven day weather forecast 104 Saturday 105 Sunday we get to 106 and 107 Monday Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.